Water covers over 70% of Earth's surface. And another huge quantity of water lies just below Earth's surface. In fact, 30% of Earth's fresh water supply is stored underground. This is groundwater, and it exists almost everywhere. Even places that are dry and arid, like Tucson, Arizona, may sit above large stores of groundwater. We can learn a lot about groundwater by taking a closer look at Tucson. The Tucson metropolitan area, highlighted in yellow on this map, sits in a valley called the Tucson Basin. In this simplified view of the area, we see the bowl-like structure of the Tucson Basin. The hard rock of the mountains and bottom of the Tucson Basin is colored dark gray. The tan represents layer upon layer upon layer of accumulated sediment. For millions of years, the forces of nature have been wearing down the mountains around Tucson. Eroded material, called sediment, gets carried down the mountains by rainwater and snowmelt, finally settling in the Tucson Basin. Water has been soaking into the sediments of the Tucson Basin for thousands of years. Let's take a closer look. Rainwater and snowmelt flow down the mountains, organizing into streams and rivers that eventually move across the valley floor. This flowing surface water becomes groundwater when under the force of gravity it soaks into the sediments below. When a layer of sediment or rock holds large amounts of groundwater that can be withdrawn easily by pumping, we call it an aquifer. The topmost surface of an aquifer, the level at which dry sediment meets wet sediment, is called the water table. It is normal for the water table level to fluctuate. It rises and falls depending on how much water is delivered to the aquifer by rain and snow and how much water is removed from the aquifer by natural processes or by pumping. Let's take a look at the ups and downs of Tucson's water table. This underground view represents a two square mile or five square kilometer section of northern Tucson. The column, from top to bottom, represents a depth of 400 feet or 122 meters. As a point of comparison, let's place the Statue of Liberty next to the column. The Statue of Liberty is 305 feet or 93 meters tall. The blue pane cutting through the Statue of Liberty and the column indicates the position of the water table in the early 1960s. It was about 150 feet or 46 meters under the surface. As the years tick by in the animation, notice how the water table level is trending downward. By 2000, the growing demand for water in Tucson contributed to a dramatic drop in the water table to about 320 feet or 98 meters underground. That's 170 feet or 52 meters lower than its 1963 level. That's nearly two-thirds the height of the Statue of Liberty. This represents an astonishing loss of groundwater volume. In Tucson, Arizona, as in other locations around the world, groundwater is being removed faster than nature can replace it. Where will Tucson get the water it needs for its growing population if supplies cannot support increased pumping? Serious work is being done in Tucson to address this question conservation, reclaiming wastewater, and using Colorado River water, transported from more than 300 miles away, are actions being taken in the Tucson metro area. Every groundwater story is unique, but there are some universal truths. Groundwater supplies are finite, no matter where in the world you are, and we can't afford to ignore the impact humans have on this invaluable water resource. We are all responsible for understanding our local groundwater story and for doing our part to keep this vital supply of fresh water flowing and healthy.